everyone likes to kind of step back and see. Uh, I, I'm sure it has, like you uh, rightly pointed out, Sham uh, Ji, that uh, 2014 wouldn't have happened, and then again 2019 wouldn't have happened if it weren't for uh, you know this content, this alternative content uh, for sure. And the internet Hindus, as they were called, I think in the initial days, you know, the warriors. Um, so I think they really did help, and I think. Uh, uh, earlier on, you know, a lot, many of us would look down, turn, the, turn our noses down at uh, uh, this kind of media. But uh, I think slowly people are waking up, and not just slowly, I think quite rapidly, people are beginning to realize the importance and the force of this medium. Abhiji, do you, what, what do, you, do you want to weigh in over here and say something? I've, look, I've always been a big fan of the democratization of information. What you've seen is essentially an end to digital feudalism. We lived in essentially what was digital feudalism, where you had these, uh, you know, uh, Thakur, who Shole me bought famous line kya hai that Thakur uh, uh, gives. Uh, yeah. Thakur gives or Gabbar gives? Gabbar, uh, Gabbar, Gabbar. Ye mujhe de de Thakur. Ye mujhe de de Nein, kuch aur hai. I think it's Thakur that gives the line. Thakur kya line deta hai? Kab hai holi? I don't know. No, but but it's um, anyway. Uh, the thing is that we moved away from there to literally everyone being able to put out their his or her opinion on YouTube and get viewers. Now, it doesn't matter what uh, gets the highest number of views or not. Okay, so for example, everybody will talk about Dhruv Rathi, mm. <laughs> who. And I don't begrudge him his success, even though I think he talks rubbish. But nobody will say talk about uh, Sandeep Maheshwari, who has something like 22 million followers. Dhruvrati has 3 million followers. But Dhruvrati is considered the greatest political phenomenon to come out of India after Prashant Kishore. <laughs> but Sandeep Maheshwari, who has 22 million followers, is not. Why not? Mm. Right. So there's, uh, you see the outright hypocrisy of these things. You see how narratives are being created. And I don't care. I mean, you can uh, come up with your own YouTube channel claiming that every great monument built before the industrial age was built by aliens and things like that. Aliens built the pyramids, aliens built the Bredishwara <laughs> temple, aliens built Angkor Wat or whatever. <laughs> No, no, no. It was built by aliens from uh, Jupiter. Aliens, you don't know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they did scientific analysis and they found that the uh, the the 80-ton uh, the uh, capstone of the uh, Bredishwara temple was actually formed in Jupiter's uh, gaseous uh, uh, atmosphere. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not known, but I'm telling you this. It's, it's a very special knowledge that I'm sharing with all of you. But see, you, you can have channels like that. I don't care if it's misinformation, disinformation, whatever, because ultimately, when you crack down on misinformation, disinformation, you're assuming that a person doesn't have the mental faculties to do that for themselves. You're infantilizing a whole population, right? Which is what editors used to do. We they used to what is right and what is exactly. <laughs> so, you know, there is this concerted attempt to re-feudalize uh, uh, this thing. It, you know, it, it literally, it's like the uh, age of enlightenment in Europe, where, you know, the uh, 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 Martin Luther's uh, uh, sort of Protestant reformation also led to peasant uprisings, which ultimately were crushed by the uh, uh, nobles kind of thing. I'm hoping this particular peasant uprising does not get crushed. <laughs> but it, it is one of those pivotal moments where you need to have that uh, sort of devolution of powers. Now, they all talk about devolution. They talk about federalism. Uh, you know, they want uh, regional rights, federal rights. Uh, 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 federalism is democracy. Centralization is autocracy. Except with your opinions, where you're not allowed to devolve powers. Except where? With your opinions. Huh. And with information, okay. where you're not allowed to devolve powers. So see, the, the, this is, uh, but I'm glad because, uh, you know, it's, they get exposed so badly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not even funny. So it's good. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel.
for our other social media links, more content and to support our work. Please visit cittti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.